go. Nice little rainbow there. Come up and take in this big hopper pattern. We'll get him back in the water. Great little rainbow, and off he goes. Got plenty of go. We're in this tiny little river using uh, a lovely little two weight rod, and we've got a grasshopper pattern. So we're going to fish upstream and hopefully show you a few browns and rainbows, what's on offer in Victoria's rivers. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, and it's just working our way up. What you've probably seen in there is a the bubble line, and that's what we should be, be looking at. That's where all the food's going to get washed, washed along, and I was working along that. Your prime is always going to be right at the head of the pool, and uh, I was still expecting one the whole way through. But we got to the end, and sure enough, there was one there. Did everything I was told, took it, didn't hang on. But uh, there'll be another one. Yep, beauty. That was perfect. Just a little bit longer cast, and uh, the fish just sitting there, just like he'd been waiting for it all day. And again, not 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 huge fish, but just great little rainbows, and uh, just keen to attack anything that gets in their little zone. And why wouldn't you? I mean, this this is uh, if this is like a grasshopper. It's probably equivalent to about 30 mayflies so um, in food content there, so it's well worth chasing down and grabbing. It's a lovely little fish. Still good fun on light gear, so um, tackle your gear up to suit the fish and the rivers, and you'll have a lot of fun. So uh, we'll see if we can find his big brother. That was better. You can see a big red slash at it, and uh, you missed it. And sometimes you can just whack it back in there again, and I'll have another go. So it just looked like such a good run here. We'd fished the whole way up here, and again, we talk about grids. Put in a grid system. You have three casts there, and work your way along. Your prime's going to be right up the top. So we've done that, and sure enough, once you get to the, uh, the upper areas there, there was a fish. And the first time he missed it, and then he'd come back again and had another go. So, uh, again, we say it a lot, it's about persistence. But uh, you get that fly in the right spot, and the fish will help you out. So again, a little rainbow. Beautiful. And we'll get him back in. Plenty of life in him. Got a good another spot here on this uh, bubble line, so we'll see if we can put a few more casts over there. There could even be another one. Right, see where that. Essentially, with all the places we've fished on the fly, we've told you exactly where it is. With this one, we're probably a little bit more secretive because it's such a pristine waterway and it needs to be looked after a bit. But it doesn't matter where this river is, there's millions of them all around Victoria and New South Wales. So search a little bit and you're going to find a little gem like this in your own backyard.
they're a feisty little one. <laughs> and you might have heard Ed yelling out the strike then, just as the fly went on, on the other side of the log, I couldn't see it. The fish decided he wanted to take it, so uh, that was good. That's another reason to have a good cameraman. You can watch your fly. <laughs> but these are just brilliant. I mean, this will, he'll be half a pound. It's, uh, she's a beauty. Beautiful. Pound for pound, rainbows are absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you.